Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <clears throat> this video is from Mr. Sedra's book uh, of EDC. And here we will be solving example 6.14. Uh, before we start, we will be following these uh, four or five steps. Um, obviously, we will not be able to understand them, but uh, just to give an idea, the first step is to eliminate the signal source. Second step will calculate these parameters. And third step will eliminate DC source. We'll replace BJT with the small signal model. And then we'll analyze the result to find the voltage gain or resistance. This is our question. Is to analyze the transistor amplifier shown in the figure to determine its voltage VO over VI. Look at this circuit. This has a DC book, uh, input battery and an input signal, which is AC or alternating. Output, we have a DC output VC, and then we have an AC output VO. In this question, we have to find this VO divided by VI. So as we said, the first step is to eliminate the signal source. So we'll eliminate this. So we just sorted it. Also now everything will be DC, so output will also be DC. And these actually will establish the operating point. This voltage we know VBE is always 0 0.7 volt. From here we can collect the, uh, we can calculate the base current IB, which will be VBB minus this voltage VBE divided by resistance RB. And putting in the values, we get IB is 0.232 milliampere. Now we can we'll calculate the collector current IC, which is beta times IB. Beta is given 100 IB from here, so it will be 2.3 milliampere. The third parameter is the emitter current. And calculate that. The simplest way is that we add the both base current and the collector current. So IC plus IB is IE. So it is 2.323 ampere. Then we'll calculate VC. VC is VCC minus this drop. So VCC minus ICRC. I'm plugging in the values. 2.3 milliampere and 3 kilo. So milli and kilo cancel. So our answer will be 3.1 volt. And so we can redraw the circuit writing all the calculations that we have found out. And finally, we have to determine the operating mode. In one of my videos, I had uh, explained this in detail that when the NPN transistor base emitter is forward bias and base collector is reverse bias, that when the collector is at a higher potential then the circuit will be in active mode. Now look here, this is forward bias because this is 0 0.7, this is 0 for so forward bias. And here it is 0 0.7 and upper is 3.1, so it is higher, 3.1 is higher and this is lower. So this base collector is reverse bias, this is reverse bias, therefore the transistor is in active mode. That is what has been written here. Okay, now part two, we have to calculate these parameters because these will help us find the gain. So just to give you some theoretical background, what is GM? GM is called the transconductance and it is given by IC over V. where Vt is the thermal voltage, which is always 25 millivolt. In some books, 
uh, you might find it 26 millivolt. Okay, then what is R pi? R pi is the small signal input resistance between base and emitter. Between base and emitter, looking into the base. So if you look from here, and it will be found from VBE divided by IB. So this voltage divided by base current will be R pi. Similarly, that we can find RE, which is again the small signal resistance between base and emitter looking into the emitter. So we are looking from here. That means VBE divided by IE will be RE. Now to match with what is given here, we will go a step further. Now IB has been explained in the book by this formula. So we will put this value here. So by simplifying, R pi will be beta over GM. Similarly here, RE can be written as VT over IE, just like we had GM here. And IE is alpha IC. And VT over IC is actually GM from here. So RE will be alpha GM. So this is RE. Now that we have some idea, now we'll calculate these parameters by simply plugging in the values. VT 25 millivolt, as we said, it is always there. IE, he has used a different formula for IE. We could have just written here 2.323 from the previous slide. What he has done is that he has used this formula, that is IE is IC over alpha. And alpha is not given, but we have beta. So alpha is beta over beta plus 1. And calculating alpha will be 0 0.9. So 2.3 divided by 0 0.9. That is what he has uh, used. But he, we could have used a 2.323 directly. Anyway, RE is 10.8 ohm. GM, again, this formula, we know the values. That is 92 milliampere per volt. And R pi is beta over GM, so it is 1.09 kilo ohm. Okay, the third step is to eliminate the DC source. So from here, we'll eliminate the DC source. And after we have eliminated the DC source, we'll replace the BJT, the transistor, with one of the small signal models. Let's do first of all eliminate the DC source. So after elimination, we'll have this circuit. Now this is AC signal and the output AC is VO. And this is what we need to calculate in the final answer. But anyway, let's first of all replace the transistor with a small signal model. Now there are four small signal models which can be used. I will not go into the details of uh, all of these. These are given in your book. You can, those of you who are interested, you can read it. In the book, he has used the first circuit. So we'll also use the first circuit. So we'll plug in it here. So in, in place of a transistor, this first circuit has been plugged in. So using this, now we'll find the gain. So this is the circuit. We need to find gain VO over VI. This is VO. This is VI. Now VO we can write from the output circuit. Now look at the circuit. The current is flowing like this. Current is GM VBE. So GM VBE multiplied by RC will give the V out. But this current is touching here. So it will be positive here and negative here. Therefore, we have to use a negative sign. That is V out is minus the current GMVBE into RC. Now, what is VBE? We have to find that too. For that, we can use the input circuit. So, by voltage deviation rule from here, this input voltage divided by these two resistance multiplied by R pi will give us VBE. This voltage VBE. GM we have already found out. R pi we have already found out. 
So now putting in the value of R pi and R B, we can find B B E to be 0 0.011 B I. I will plug in this value of B B E in the equation here. So this was the equation, plug in G M from here 92 milli and VBE from this equation and RC is 3 kilo. So the answer is minus 3.04 VI and now from here we can get, get the gain which is VO over VI, we bring it down and so what is left is negative 3.04 volt over volt. So this is the final answer. I hope you have been able to follow this. Uh, please let me know through your comments. Thank you.